Hi, this is Presh Talwalkar. This season of The Simpsons featured a crossover episode with Futurama that had some pretty cool math equations. Here's a screen capture. I'm going to identify each of the equations and then describe more about each one in the rest of the video. This equation on the upper left hand side is known as Fermat's Little Theorem, which is an interesting result in number theory. On the bottom is another result from number theory known as the Prime Number Theorem, which describes the density of primes. This TSP is in P refers to the traveling salesman problem, which is actually an unsolved problem, but there's a claim here that it's known in polynomial time. The remaining equations are also from an unsolved problem known as the Riemann hypothesis. So Fermat's little theorem says that if you take a number a and raise it to the power of p minus 1, you'll always have a remainder of 1 relative to p. Here we want p to be prime and a to be relatively prime to p. So we can do an example, let's take the prime 5 as p. If we take any number that's relatively prime to 5, we'll find that raising that number to the fourth power will always leave a remainder of 1 when divided by 5. So it's 1 more than a multiple of 5. Next up is the prime number theorem. This, is set, this theorem says that the number of primes less than x is asymptotically x divided by the natural log of x. So for example, if x is 100, there actually are 25 primes less than it, and the approximation gets pretty close. The traveling salesman problem asks, given a list of cities and distances between the cities, what's the shortest route that travels each of the cities exactly once? Now you could brute force this problem, but becomes very difficult as the number of cities increases. Computer scientists believe this is an NP-hard problem, which means it cannot be solved in polynomial time. The final problem is the Riemann hypothesis. This is actually even a very difficult problem to describe. The hypothesis is that a particular function, when you want to look for solutions, it only happens when the real part of the argument is equal to one half. This problem has been unsolved since 1859, but if you can solve it, there's a million dollar prize to it. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to my channel. You can support me on Patreon to get exclusive rewards. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, on Twitter at Prashtalwakar, and you can get my books listed on my website.